appreciate you and Club Car having us here. Yeah, it's great to have you. It's just fantastic. The, the booth is amazing. Like, Thank you. It's a new booth for us this year. Okay. Um, it feels bigger. Yeah. Feels more modern. Yeah. Um, really helping us to bring the message of a modern golf experience with a modern car, personalized. Yeah. Just bringing it a better experience and, and more fun to the sure. golf course. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Well, we uh, we have a few questions kind of lined up that we want to talk to Club Car about. Great. And our first subject is last year we talked about the Tempo Lock. Sure. Really remarkable product. So since its debut last year, how well received has the Tempo Walk been? Yeah. In terms of like at golf courses across the world, and then in addition to that, how have consumers responded to the technology itself? Yeah. So this has been um, our most buzzworthy product probably in the history of Club Car. Yeah. Uh, we've gotten more attention and more conversations around it than than ever before. Yeah. Um, the golf course operators are having a chance to to get it in their hands, yeah. put it in their members' hands, yeah. and it's been. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, the experience of playing with a, that hands-free autonomous caddy yep. uh, is unlike anything. It's different than playing with a golf cart. It's different than playing with a caddy. It brings a, a freeness that's almost refreshing. Yeah. Um, and you know, players love it. Players yeah. love it. So we're seeing more and more uh, courses add that to the amenity list that they're providing at their clubs. Yep. Um, and more and more people out there and enjoying it every day and making it a regular part of how they play the game. That's amazing. That's amazing. So, and you have this deployed across the entire world. Uh, it's been predominantly a, a North American story, okay. uh, and in 2020, we'll start growing that. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of walking rounds in Australia, a lot of walking rounds in the UK and across Europe. Yeah. Uh, so we expect to see just continued growth at Tempo Walk. Yeah. Yeah. So moving on to to another subject, um, your background. Sure. Uh, you've had a very diverse background in operations and engineering. So. Can consumers expect to see Club Car's lithium technology found in the Onward and the Village LSV line? Can we expect to see that in other PTVs or maybe even in a carry-all? So Absolutely. Lithium and the Visage, like, where is the focus there? What, what is Club Car doing? Yeah, so, um you know, we're, we're, we've really entered the era of lithium, as I like to call it, right? We're, there's a major uh, technology evolution happening. And of course, we brought it to Fleet Golf first. We quickly followed that with the launch of lithium and Onward, which has been a smashing success. Yeah. Um, and that roadmap continues to evolve. Uh, we'll continue to bring that forward across the rest of the portfolio. Um, lithium's on a very exciting technology curve. Cost is dropping, performance is improving. Yeah. And with that, it becomes more and more applicable in places like uh, a turf utility vehicle or, yeah. or uh, on a college campus yeah. uh, or in a low speed vehicle that you'd be driving in your neighborhoods and on roads up to 35 miles an hour. So yeah. it's a really exciting um, technology that's really affecting not only the golf industry but really the larger micro mobility space. Absolutely, absolutely. That's, that's incredible. And to see Club Car coming along with the times that evolving with it too, because you know, it's, it's happening in all the industries, not just golf. No, it, right. Yeah, yeah. Technology and connectivity, especially, is really um, accelerating. You're seeing that whether it's in your day-to-day -day about Apple CarPlay, things in your car, yep. those yep. trends are impacting our space as well. And we've got, of course, with Visage on the fleet management side, but with the introduction of Shark Experience, in-car streaming mobility, um, that's been there in fleet, but in, in, in 2020, we'll be bringing it uh, broader into consumer. Um, we have a uh, private Visage, private golf experience. Uh, there's a lot of people who uh, use their golf cars to privately own golf car. They will take it on the golf course. Yeah. Uh, so we'll bring that uh, Visage and golfer experience uh, capability to that space and ultimately into kind of the pure consumer space where you're going to buy an Onward and you'll have the option to buy it with a screen and it'll help you wow. um, give you give you some of those um, uh, uh, health around uh, the car and where are you going and some map functionality and, and ultimately the Bluetooth connectivity to your phone. Wow. And that was actually going into the next question was about the Visage. I think you answered that. Uh, and that's something you said we, we can expect to see here in the year 2020. Yeah, 2020. We'll be um, actively commercializing uh, Visage Private Golf for, uh -huh. for that private golfer in a community going on the course. Yep. And then ultimately that Onward PTV having a, a connectivity option uh, you'll be able to buy that accessory uh, as part of your purchase, and, yeah. and, and that's an exciting roadmap for us as we continue to bring more and more functionality to the car. Well, it, it gives me chills thinking about it. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> like, it's, this is really cool. It's, there's a lot of fun stuff happening uh, yeah. with Club Car. We are really focused on um, elevating the experience, not only on the course, uh, but for people who are using PTVs as part of their life. 
Um, and it's an exciting time to be part of golf, and it's an exciting time to be a club car.